This here is from People inside Giant Depp's art exhibit opening in New York City, where actor got support from family, pirates pals, and more. Thank you, People. Looks like a fantastic article. After years of criticizing Johnny and getting as much smear and dirt as you can, now you got to talk about Johnny's success whenever it comes up. Let's see what we got. This is going to be fun. Before I continue, some overdue shout outs. Thank you, Deborah Ranciden, if I'm saying that correct. Apologies if I'm not. Thank you, Sabrinkle Dinkle. And thank you, Karia, who I see dropping a lot of comments. I see comments. I appreciate them. Here we go. Giant Depp opened the doors to his first ever art exhibit in New York City. Sounds great. Sounds like another success. It's not like New York is a small town. If you want to open an art exhibit, seems like the place to be. The actor unveiled a bunch of stuff in immersive and experimental exhibition during a special preview held on Monday, September 30th in Manhattan, surrounded by friends, family, fans, and peers from the international artist community. They say Jerry Bruckenheimer was there, hugging Depp, his sister was there, and they mention a few other people, directors and actors and photographers. Sounds like a big old reunion like Johnny had at the film festivals. Happy times. Once again, thank you people. I bet you're loving this. Depp wore a hat and sunglasses as he smoked inside the gallery space, smiling and laughing while greeting guests. Yeah, Johnny once in a while wears a hat and sunglasses. I'm sure he's got plenty of both. The exhibit features Depp's art dating back to his early 20s, as well as the Oscar nominee's personal artifacts from his homes and art studios. Last month, Depp said in a statement to people, through the magic and madness of life, art has been my sanctuary. These pieces, born of different stages of my journey, are a residue of a life lived. Creation's not always a comfortable process, but for me, it's necessary. Excuse me, for me, it's a necessary one. It's an exact quote. All right, did Johnny actually send that specifically to people or did they get that as something he sent out in general? I don't know. They never get comment from anyone. It's hard to believe Johnny sent people that and nobody else. They say what is less well known is that art played a deeply personal and highly important role in his life since childhood. Seems well known to me. I'm not sure how the general public out there is familiar with the news, but I pretty much knew for a very long time Johnny was an artist. But yeah, I'm sure he's more well known for his acting and music, sure. We believe a bunch of stuff will leave audiences inspired to create, to realize, as Depp exemplifies that art can be more than just paint on a canvas, that it can be healing, transformative, and empowering for all ages, no matter your background or experience, sure. I was once into art in my earlier years. It's a fun hobby, let's put it that way. I should have studied math or science or been an eye doctor. A bunch of stuff opens to the public on Friday, October 4th in Manhattan. It ends there. Thank you, people. As I say, we're now in the turned tide where the media, who was once against Johnny, snooping around for every piece of smear and hit piece, now has to report on Johnny's art because that's what's going on with Johnny. Anyway, thank you, people. Nice to see. I'm not just going to say it's all good, thanks to the great articles now. Not going to forget the past. So rubbing it in is kind of fun. Anyway, if you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.